Retrievers, I'm Daniel from Coral Lesson Today. It's Mistake Monday, and it's all about drain pipes and overflows today. And this is a very something that's very recent to me because it happened over the weekend. So I'm going to tell you my story, and then I'll tell you a little bit about um, the parts to fix it. So I was sleeping Saturday morning. I, I had a, a rough night Friday, so I was out late, and I was tired. So my wife is up, and all of a sudden she hears a bell ringing this high-pitched sound. It was one of my water alarms that went off, and thank God she heard it, so she woke me up and said, hey, one of your alarms just go off, can you go downstairs? Now, immediately I thought, I know what's happening, my uh, sump is overflowing, and the reason I already knew that was because I had just recently cleaned everything, I put some sea urchins in my sump to clean it up a little bit, and I took off this piece right here. And this is, a drain pipe and it even has screens on the side that way if the water level ever needs to rise because of a clog with algae or something that happened it's got a drain pipe here drain pipe here an emergency if the level rises it can actually flow easily through the top hole without overflowing the tank well without having this thing on it's just a big hole it's just one pipe and anything that goes in there is going to block it and the sump level is just going to keep rising, keep rising, keep rising until it overflows. So I have a couple lessons for you guys today and one is don't walk away. If you know something is important, make sure you finish that before you do anything else. And <laughs> the other thing is snails, sea urchins, uh, algae, there's so many things that can potentially block your drain and cause an overflow. That's why it's so great when you have two in a tank or you'll see somebody with a screen mesh or something. Um, but a lot, I mean, I can't tell you, I'm sure a million of you people have found stuff in your sump. You're like, how the heck did this get in over the drain? And a lot of times they go over top your overflow, they'll climb over, snails will go over, or if you shut off your water and water level rises in your sump, they can get over if they're in your refugium. And if you have a return pump, that could be a problem that would suck it in and, and could potentially break a propeller from the um, snail shell or something. So uh, to conclude this a little bit quicker, I would say to anyone, protect your sump or your overflow. Make sure you don't have any loose macroalgae that could become lodged in it and cause an overflow or watch your snails. Some of those snail shells get pretty huge and can eventually clog your drain pipe. I actually had uh, a one inch pipe that we took off an old tank and it had about three snail shells in there that were pretty decent size and it's amazing that it never stopped it or I never even noticed they were in there until after we broke down the system. But thanks for watching and as always happy reefing until next time. Please leave your question or comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and we look forward to hearing from you.